Well, back in my days, rule of vacuums are fairly simple, but times have changed, so let's take a look at Dreamy Tech's newest rule of vacuum. The Dreamy Tech D10 looks a lot like a D9, but has a couple unique features. Some you can tell, some you can. For stars, has improved navigation. So yes, the magical unicorn lives to see another day. Also, with the new lava-based navigation, it has quick mapping. So instead of taking a few hours to map out your floor plan, oh, it just takes a few minutes. Okay, so let's go in and see what the Dreamy Tech D10 Plus is all about. Well, since we're in 2022, we expect these raw vacuums to be smarter and quicker. And yes, the D10 is a fairly smart raw vacuum. No longer do you have to wait several cleaning sessions, kind of like on an iRobot, or even a couple hours for these raw vacuums to know how to clean your house. The benefit of having a fast map option, besides being able to save a lot of time, is the fact if you have a lot of trouble spots, maybe furniture that the robot may struggle with, or obstacles on the ground, the fast map option kind of eliminates that. So, what I would recommend doing is having the robot create a map and then go by each area and see if there's any troublesome spots. For example, the robot does not like my dark colored carpet, so you can see it kind of tripped up its cliff sensors. So that's just something you may want to use a keep out zone to avoid this type of rug, or maybe just replace it altogether. I was wondering where I put my mopping pad. Well, there's a saying, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Okay, so let's take a look at the Dreamy Tech D10 here. May notice it does come with a self-emptying system. And up on top here, you do have a uh, 2.5 liter bag, which should give you about maybe three to one month's worth of dirt, depending on how often you use it. Now, you can buy disposable bags. I believe Dreamy Tech sells them. And also you can go through Amazon and get them. Now, what's interesting is Dreamy Tech didn't stray far from the original design on a D9. It's almost identical, minus a couple key differences. For example, the D10 only has two button layout, whereas the D9 had a three button layout with a dedicated spot function. Kinda wish they had that, but I guess I can't have everything. You have a LiDAR sensor, and this new sensor here is upgraded. It's quicker at recognizing obstacles, and it does have that fast map option, which I showed. Okay, so overall the design's very similar, have a similar size dustbin. I believe this dustbin is a little bit smaller, but not a huge deal since you do have the self emptying and you do have the little storage for your cleaning brush and there's a QR code to scan the Me Home app. So as I was testing the clean performance, I think it was about average. It wasn't the best, it wasn't the worst. Now, one thing to note is you may notice the scattered debris of the rice around the raw vacuum. Yeah, unfortunately, the side brush was spinning a little too quickly. So here's the result after just one cleaning run. Start auto empty. 
Well, did you catch that? Did you notice that the riser is flung off to the left when emptying? So yes, if you take a look at the dustbin here, you may notice this small little compartment off to your left. That's where the dirt goes out of. And then off to the right is a special air vent. Okay, so I ran this robot a second and third time, and I noticed it did a lot better, close to about 96% after the third run. So, if you don't like the clean performance, just have it run again. It does have that crisscross pattern, so it should be able to capture the scattered debris that it did on the first run. One interesting thing is you may have seen my other videos, the L10, the Z10 Pro videos, where they actually had 3D laser systems. Unfortunately, this model does not have that. This is used to uh, help line up with the docking station and there's no dedicated wall sensor that I can see. But overall, the robot did a fairly good job going around the edges, but it did kind of bump into the side walls a little bit more than ones that have a wall sensor. Okay, so you see you have an exhaust vent, and here's underneath the robot, very similar to the D9, charging contacts, front wheel caster, a couple of cliff sensors, a single side brush, kind of wish uh, it didn't spin as quick but it does spin fairly quickly, so just be mindful of that. And there's the exhaust vent and extractor port right here. Now, like on the D9, the hybrid style extractor bar, and yes, the ends can get removed. Just kind of pull them across. Makes it a little easier to remove the hair. I think these screws are to help remove the hair, but you may notice there is still hair wrapped around the uh, brush there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the application here. It is using the Mi Home app and a lot of these raw vacuums like Biomi, Roblox use the same application. So once we jump into it, you may have seen a familiar interface, has the map in front and you got some stats up top like the name of the robot which can rename. You also have the time that it last went out and cleaned, the duration and your uh, percentage of value life. Now what's new for the D10 is the fast map management. Dreamy Tech is going this route, so it's very nice to be able to create a new map. And if you have multiple levels, you just select this, and you actually can take this down to this basement and create a new map. And if I wanted to create a new map, I have the option to do an entire house cleaning, so it's cleaning and uh, mapping at the same time, or I can do a fast map option. Great if you want to save time, or if you have a lot of obstacles and you're worried that the robot's going to get stuck, uh, fast map is a great option. Alright, so let's jump back into here and show you some of the settings you can do. Now, to get to the settings, uh, you just click the uh, cleaning settings off to the right there. And you can change the vacuum levels. I believe there's four different vacuum levels plus the do not disturb level, which is basically turns off the vacuum motor. You also have three different wire levels. Yes, this does have electronically controlled mopping and customized cleaning. So what that does is you actually can customize how much power you want for each room. Now, another nice thing is you do have sequencing. So for example, if you press the clean button on the robot, it will clean in order of which rooms you want. So for example, you have the kitchen, maybe the entryway that gets dirtiest. You set that up, press the clean button, it will clean those two rooms first and then follow through with the other rooms. So it's very nice that it does have sequencing on this model. Okay, so like a lot of these smart well, vacuums, you do have room clean. So yes, you can select a certain room to clean and you can create your own zone as well. Uh, size it to any uh, length you want or size. Okay, so you also have no-go zones. Uh, this is great if you want to keep the robot away from pet bowls or sensitive objects like instruments. Also, uh, this robot vacuum can uh, have no mopping as well, so it won't uh, get your carpets wet. Okay, let's go and uh, jump back into here and just go into the settings. I won't go over all of them, but there's a lot of settings in here. Uh, you can see device settings, schedule, cleanup, cleaning history. Uh, one interesting thing is you do have a remote control. Some of these robot vacuums don't offer that, but it's kind of nice to be able to steer the robot to an area, and then you can have it clean uh, within that area. Device settings, uh, just basically you can change the name of the robot, turn off the volume, or decrease the volume. Also, if you want carpet boost, I like this feature, so it kind of prolongs the battery life if you have it on like slow suction for hardware floors, and then on carpeting, it will boost up the suction. There's also a child lock feature. Um, luckily, my daughter doesn't play with these robots, but if you have a small child or a pet that kind of wanders and pushes on the buttons, uh, that's nice to have. You got resume cleaning, do not disturb. Um, that's basically it. Okay, so that's just a quick look at the uh, application here. There's a lot of settings to go through, just take some time. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. 
I can kind of walk you through or tell you what these settings do. Well, we're already at the 10 minute mark. Well, time flies when you're just chatting away. Okay, so let's talk about the pros and cons and give you my final thoughts. Overall, the Dreamy Tech D10 Plus is a fairly nice little vacuum, but it's not for everyone. If you're the type of person that wants the latest grades, all the app features, all the bells and whistles, or maybe if you're a pet owner that has a dog that sheds long hair, I would recommend something different. Now, with my personal experience, roll up vacuums that use a combination style brushes does tend to wrap the hair around, so you will need to use the onboard cutting tool to uh, clear out the hair. I would recommend looking for a robot that uses an all rubber brush design, like on an iRobot or Roblox series. Okay, so if you want a self emptying system, I think the D10 Plus works fine. I had no issues with it. It's very similar to like the Ecofax design where it extracts from one side and there's an air vent on the other. Um, one thing to note is the dustbin compared to non self emptying robots is slightly smaller because they do reserve some of that space for the self emptying portion. So as I was running this robot, I did notice there's no carpet avoidance while mopping. I know some other models do offer that. So if you want that feature, you may have to look at other models. But in the app, you do have a no mopping zone. So in theory, you could create a virtual area where the robot will avoid mopping those areas. But the benefit of not having that sensor is you can transition over carpet to another area where there's hardware floors. So if you want to leave the mopping pad on and get to different areas while vacuuming, that is an option. Okay, so let's talk about the cons. I think the biggest con is the side brush still spins a little too quickly. And during my optical avoidance test, I noticed that it kind of left some areas unclean, even though the robot vacuum could directly get to those areas. So maybe the robot vacuum needs to be a little more aggressive trying to reach those areas. But overall, the D10 Plus is a good option if you want something that can self-empty, can mop, can vacuum, but doesn't offer a lot of the extra thrills and frills that higher-end models have. Okay, have a great rest of the day. Adios.